please stand for the pledge. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Carlsbad. We have a great show planned for you today. To start it off, we have Colin with some ghost hunters and then Livy on the magic window. We also have Dom at Buffalo Wild Wings to give us some football updates. That's right. Now let's get it started. I'm Dana Kowit. I'm Parker Tompkinson. And CHS TV starts right now. To start off the show, we have a story on some ghost hunters here in Carlsbad. Colin and Caden bring us this piece. Code red, code red. Go, go, go. Hi, my name is Ben Gaston. Hi, my name is Chance Bakuda. And, and we're, we're the, the ghost, ghost getters. Carlsbad <laughs> seniors Chance and Ben have a passion that some might call paranormal. I mean, honestly, me and Ben Gaston were just talking one day about our really experiences with ghosts, and I don't know, we kind of connected and. We want to fight against this problem. But their journey hasn't come without its setbacks. Yeah, so we just go to places. Um, we got, like, gadgets and stuff. We film. We use the gadgets. We just go around trying to prove ghosts are real. Throughout their explorations, each has had to take a unique role to complement and support each other. Um, personally, I'm the sound guy for the team. I'm the main filmer, so I just kind of, like, walk around and make sure I capture all the, all the good stuff. And we just try to catch any... Paranormal activity, you know? As for what to do with their passion, uh, Chance and Ben have big plans for the future. Helps us communicate with the ghosts. From there, we'll try to tell the public and explore other options to inform others about the, like, scenario in the ghost world, you know? It's a whole other world there. Are there any ghosts here? For CHS TV. Oh my god. No way. Are you doing this? With no. photojournalist no. Colin Garrity. No, bro. Are you getting this on camera? Yeah, yeah. Where's it going? I'm... Where Caden Barnes. No. No. There's no, it, guys, there's no ghost that says. That, that's exactly, that's exactly what a ghost, what a ghost, ghost would say. say. Thanks, Caden and Colin, for that fun piece. Now we have Colin live in the studio with the Ghost Skitters. Colin? What's up, Carlsbad? I'm live here in a haunted house with the Ghost Skitters. So Chance, we're in a haunted house. What do you think about this? Honestly, it's really cool. I mean, it kind of reminds me of our first ever ghost hunt over at the Jefferson's house. It has the same like vibes giving off. Yeah, definitely. And uh, Ben, why do you like to ghost hunt? Yeah, it's just exhilarating, you know? The adrenaline rush is unmatched. Wow, and what are your plans for the future? Uh, personally, my plans are to per pursue the ghost hunting industry and possibly go for like a, a TV show, like inspired by oh. the ghost hunters. You know? Okay, good luck to you and Ben. So, out of all the ghosts you've caught, what's your favorite type of ghost to catch? The scary ones are the best. That's the best one. And Chance, um, I'm sure everyone would like to know at Carlsbad, what sound do ghosts make? It's kind of like a deep ooh, you know? Yeah, okay, that makes sense. All right, um, you heard it here at Carlsbad. Good luck to these guys, and any shout outs? Uh, thank you, Keaton Moorhead, for inspiring me to get into ghost hunting. Shout out Ayla Dennis. Inkers, back to you. Thanks, Colin, and the Ghost Getters, and good luck in your future ghost hunts. Writing Lab is available every morning during zero period in room 3211. No appointment needed, just drop in. Math Lab is now available before school from 725 to 825 a.m. in room 7106. Here, tutoring will have adjusted hours for finals week from 1 to 2 p.m. in the CHS library. No appointment is necessary. Need spirit wear? Lancer Jacks is open before school, at break, and at lunch. Come on by to make your purchase today. Now for a break in the announcements, we have Brock live with Mr. C to talk about a new library policy. Brock? Well, good morning, Carlsbad. I'm Brock Sarswanas, live here with Mr. C from the Technology Help Desk here at Carlsbad. Um, Mr. C, there is a new um, policy coming in for the library. Can you tell us about that? Sure. Um, what a lot of people don't know is that the Carlsbad Library, actually, we manage and maintain 
2,500 Chromebooks and about 10,000 textbooks. So we have a lot to maintain. A new policy that we're implementing at the, uh, at, at the next semester is basically gonna be that if you have anything that is overdue or is sitting at home or has a fine attached to it, um, until you clear that fine or bring in that overdue textbook or overdue Chromebook or charger, uh, you're not gonna be able to check out another piece of library materials until those items are brought back in. Um, and we've actually emailed uh, some instructions out to every teacher um, about how to clear your library record. So you can actually go in yourself. It takes less than a minute and you can uh, check your own library record and see if you have anything outstanding, anything overdue, anything with a fine on it. And we just wanna to try to get those, those items in so we can clear the records in our library system. We have thousands of items that are out there and we're trying to clean up our records and make sure that everybody has the materials that they need to uh, have a great education. And when does this policy um, take place? Um, the policy is gonna go into effect the first day of our new semester, which is gonna be January 24th, so in about two weeks. So everybody can log into the library system with the instructions that we're gonna send out and you can basically uh, get your info if you have anything outstanding. You can also come to the library, we'll check your record for you. And as uh, soon as um, that happens, uh, hopefully everybody will get a clear record, we can keep on moving. And normally as the reporter, I'm the one who's asking the questions, but you actually have a question for me today. Um, what is that question? My question to you is directly as a student perspective, do you think this policy is fair and okay for us to implement? Yeah, I do think it's fair for um, students and on both sides of the library too. Um, I think um, obviously you guys have thousands of things that you have to return. So I think um, students need to take responsibility, um, really check up on all, all your overdue items and make sure that those are in. Awesome. And thank you for coming on the show. Carlsbad, make sure you get your overdue items in so you can, continue, so you can help with the library and continue to check out new things. Anchors, back to you. Thank you, bro. Boys Volleyball will be hosting open gyms Wednesday nights from 7.30 to 9 p.m. All are welcome. Bring athletic shoes, a mask, and a water bottle. See you there. CUSD is now participating in Speak Up, a national research project. If you'd like to share your thoughts on technology use and virtual learning, see the front page of the CTS website. Would you like to earn both high school and college credit? Counseling 100 is offered next semester. This course is 100% online and students will complete the coursework on their own schedule. See your counselor for more information. Now we have Holden live in the studio with Ethan Plummer to show us his engineering project. Holden? Good morning, Carlsbad. As you can see right now, we are on the magic window and I'm here live with Ethan, who is from Design 110. So Ethan, do you mind just giving me a quick rundown on what you're on for today and a little synopsis of this whole project? So basically, uh, our project was to design a flashlight uh, simply th using uh, a set of instructions that was provided. Gotcha, so as you can see right here, we have someone else's and once we go to the next site, uh, slide, you will see that there is a little bit um, of a difference in design. Do you mind telling me what was your kind of design and what makes yours a little different? Uh, my, my design uh, uses inches. Uh, we were able to choose our own units. Uh, and with her design, she used uh, a different way of displaying it uh, using a kind of see-through method. Gotcha, so for people who are just starting out in the um, drawing stages, do you have any advice for them? Uh, just be patient, uh, it takes time and practice. Gotcha guys, well you heard it here first. Thank you so much Ethan for coming on. Now I'm gonna send it back to Parker at the desk. Thank you Holden and Ethan. CHSTV will be live streaming the basketball games on January 18th, 21st, 25th, 28th, and February 1st. The live stream link will be on CHSTV.com. All CUSD high school students have free access to Schmoop for test prep, homework help, and study skills. Log in through your Clever account. Sign up now for the spike ball tournament in the ASB room 5004. Deadline to sign up is this Friday. Next up, we have Livy on the magic window to give us a COVID testing demonstration. Livy? Good morning, Carlsbad. I'm Livy Lewis here on the magic window talking about the COVID rapid test that we got in fifth period yesterday. Um, so these kits come with two tests. You're going to have two swabs, two test cards, and then two of the tubes. And these are at-home tests, so make sure to take them at home and not at school. So I'm going to be doing a little bit of a walkthrough with these. These are different directions than the ones that will come in your kit. So if you need like the step-by-step, -step, the directions will be in the box. But with this test kit, it comes with the swab. So this is where you're going to start out with. Swab each nostril for 15 seconds. Make sure you get both of them. And then this is when the tube comes in. You're gonna take the swab, put it into the tube. There's some liquid at the bottom of the tube that you can see. Make sure it gets in there, stir it around 15 times. 
And then when you're done with that and you're taking out the swab, squeeze the tube so it kind of wrings out the liquid just to make sure that your test is as accurate as possible. You can put the lid back on and then this will bring you to the COVID testing card. This is what it looks like and this is the packaging it's in. Um, you're gonna take the liquid that you just put the swab in, drop three drops here on the dropping pad and then you'll see the liquid kind of go up the test. Um, after that, you're gonna wanna wait 15 minutes to get the most accurate results and if only the C line shows up, the test is negative, but if both the C and T line show up, the test is positive. So one line is negative, two lines is positive. Make sure you wait the full 15 minutes so you can see what your results actually are. And if you are positive Carlsbad, be sure to let the school know and do not come back to school until you are told you are able to. Um, and yeah, be sure to stay safe out there Carlsbad and I'll send it back to the desk. Thank you, Libby. Make sure that if you are not feeling well to take your at-home COVID test. For another break in the announcement, we are gonna send it outside the studio to Dom with some football playoff information. Dom, what do you have for us? Good morning, Carlsbad. My name is Dominic Anderson. Here live in front of Buffalo Wild Wings, it's a great spot to watch the NFL playoffs over the weekend. So on Monday, we had a really good college football game. Georgia and Alabama faced off in the national championship. Georgia, congrats to the Bulldogs. They took it home. Now, this weekend, Saturday, some more really important football. Las Vegas Raiders are playing the Bengals to start on Saturday in the wild card. Then we have the Patriots and the Bills playing later on. Saturday, we also have some good games. We have the 49ers playing Dallas Cowboys. Then we might have Big Ben's final game of his career as the Steelers play the Chiefs. Monday night is the last wild card game. We're going to have the Arizona Cardinals facing off against the Los Angeles Rams. Though these teams start off as wagons, lost a lot of games along the way, and now they find themselves playing in the first round. So I have for you guys today, Carlsbad. Enjoy watching the playoffs. Anchors, back to you. Thanks, Dom, for that info. We have finals next week, guys, so make sure to study up and really try hard in all your classes next week. Have a great day, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Hi, I'm Jacob Clark. Occasionally on CHSCV, we'll broadcast live from our Lightcraft studio. This technology is officially called virtual production, and it's pretty amazing. We'll explain how virtual production is quickly changing the way movies and television shows are produced. Stay tuned for more Lightcraft segments, and of course, every day we'll bring you magic window reports, live coverage via satellite, and of course, live guest conversation in our studio. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Have a great day, and thanks for watching.